When buying gemstones in Bangkok, the first thought that comes into people's head is the Bangkok gem scam. If you search on Google or YouTube, you'll find multiple videos on this topic with over a million views and is definitely a serious problem for tourists that come in Thailand. However, no one actually stopped and thought why are gemstones such a big market in Bangkok and is considered one of the world's most important gemstone hubs. This is what I would like to discuss in today's video. Why should one buy gemstones in Bangkok? First, it is the largest gemstone market in the world. Bangkok is known for trading all types of gemstones. This includes rubies, sapphires, tourmaline, garnets, peridot, spinel, topaz, and jade, and etc. There are many, many stones. Due to this, all the major dealers have their offices located here locally in Bangkok. Bangkok is also renowned for its expertise in cutting, polishing, and treating gemstones. Thai craftsmen are considered the best cutters in the world. They have learned how to cut in pure pre precision due to their proximity to Burma. Because Burma is such a source for gemstones and getting it here in Thailand, they've learned the expertise in cutting rubies and sapphires and jade. They were also one of the major source for expensive colored gemstones like rubies, sapphire. Due to these factors, it is one of the globe's major gemstone trading source, which makes means they have a lot of experience. It is actually even cheaper to buy gemstones in Thailand than in source countries. At first, this might sound counterintuitive. Why will it be cheaper to buy a gemstone in Thailand when it doesn't even source any of these stones anymore? A better way to understand this is by comparing another industry which all we all know about very well, like buying an iPhone or any major mobile device. The cheapest place in the world where you could buy these items is the United States and not the source countries in where these phones are produced. Why is this? The reason is the most largest and most liquid and most competitive place where these devices are purchased are in the United States. It's a major source for suppliers and buyers meet, so they have to be competitive in price or no consumer will buy. The same can be said for buying gemstones in Bangkok as well. Now what is the negative factors when we consider buying gemstones here? First, it is a major treatment hub for all the gems in the world. Thailand is considered the expert in all new treatments and color stones, including heat treatment, synthetics, glass filled rubies, diffused color treatment rubes, sapphires, irradiation topaz, dyeing, waxing, and oiling emeralds, etc. When purchasing any of these gemstones, it's very important to consider this as one of the key factors. If you don't want to get scammed and lose hundreds or thousands of dollars. The more treatment a gemstone goes through, the cheaper it drops. It can drop from $30,000 all the way down to one. So knowing the treatment is really, really important. So what are the places where one can purchase gemstones in Bangkok? The area where gemstones are sold are at the end of Silom Road or Suriwong. And this is considered the gems district of Bangkok. The major buildings that are here are filled with dealers and they are located either in Jewelry Trade Center or called JTC, uh, other buildings in Mehesak, or where our office was originally located in the 80s and 90s. So Rewong Road also has a couple of buildings like Executive House, Bangkok Gem and Jewelry Building. Gem Tower also is on Choron Krong Road and other major, as, a, as also a major building with gem dealers. We are located in State Tower, which is also in the same area. Wat Ko is also a tradition where you find synthetic or cheaper gemstones. That market is not so big anymore as most of the dealers have now moved down to JTC. Gemstones are also cut and manufactured outside Bangkok in Chantaburi. This is where the original source of Thai rubies and sapphires were mined and produced. The mines are, have been exhausted there since the late 1980s or early 1990s. Uh, cutter, the cutters or treater, treaters there in Chantaburi are experts in treating low-quality ruby sapphires and other 
low quality gems and they make them look spectacular a very unattractive stone they'll make it look like it's amazing color and color clarity the treatments which they do includes chemically diffusion glass filled irradiation this is the expertise that has made them a source for low quality gems you can also buy gems here in the middle of town where you can rent tables or go to reliable dealers offices the dealer offices will help to call brokers to bring you the gemstones you need. Jandaburi is only open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and usually most of the gem dealers are from Bangkok. Go there. The typical stones you will find here is usually of lower grade than in Bangkok. This is because the higher end usually goes straight to dealers in Bangkok. And also, the dealers in Jandaburi do come to Bangkok in weekdays, again around the Silom area. So you can see the same stones in Bangkok as well. So what are the buying guides when you want when you want to buy gems in Bangkok? I provided some uh, key points which you, everyone should look at when they're considering buying gems in Thailand. First, they should check the company's credentials. Reliable wholesalers and retailers will have business licenses in their frame located in front of their office, also in front of their large sign of their company in front of their door. You should also look at the gem in a neutral light setting. Neutral light setting means a place where it's near a sunlight or window, natural sunlight or window, or a quality artificial daylight lighting. This is recommended by GIA when checking color for gemstones. This is important because in yellow light, the rubies can look redder, while in strong unnatural white light, makes darker emeralds or sapphires look lighter or even better and etc. So the lighting does trick your eyes and for you to judge the color of the gemstone is really important because that is the number one criteria for getting the price of the stone. Also when you're buying stones you should ask pointed questions. Examples include question one treatment. Ask the supplier is there any treatment in the stone? If their answer is no then ask for a reliable third-party certification. If they don't provide you a third-party certification and say it's not necessary or trust us, blah, 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 you should just walk away because it's third-party certificate in Thailand is not expensive. You could get one for like 300 baht, which is like 10 or 15, $10 or less. And just to check the treatment. The treatment, like I said earlier, if it's more treated, the more cheaper the stone is. So you have to know if the stone is treated or not. Question number two, their experience. How long have they been in a trade for? Do they have credentials like a graduate gemologist degree from GIA or from any renowned insti uh, gemology institute? Or does anyone in the office does have one? By just having experience and some credentials reduces your risk a lot in knowing what type of gemstone you're getting. Question number three, what is their return policy? Do, do, you have a, do they have a return policy if the gemstone is stated is not accurate of what they sold? If they say no, that you cannot return a gemstone even though you, when you check somewhere else and it's stated differently than what they've sold, you just walk away. I mean, it's not necessary yet to buy. Again, without trust in our business, you should not deal with anyone. You should know what you're buying. And also, if they're confident in what they're selling is true, they should be able to take it back if it's not true. And finally, question number four, third party certification. If you, you're, I am interested in buying this stone, but it is currently not certified. Can you get it certified? If they, again, they say no, just walk away immediately. Again, like I said, you could get a quick, quick certification in within one day for 300 to 500 baht, which is definitely worth it more than getting scammed. So again, all these questions are just to explain again what when you're going to buy gems in Bangkok. Trust, trust, trust is everything in our business. I said this three times as it is important in our trade to trust the person you're dealing with. Without this this thing, you can go things could go down really, really fast. Also, you should never have pressure when purchasing any item. If a salesperson is too pushy or uncomfortable with it, uncomfortable just walk away from the transaction. You don't have to buy if you're not comfortable. 
Also negotiate. If dealers know you're not in the trade, they will definitely try to uh, ask you a higher price. This skill requires practice and people with and people skills. But best way is just keep doing it and have fun with it. Buying a gemstone is experience is a good experience, and just enjoy the process. Enjoy how to deal with people, like how you deal with buying anything else. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful, and do feel free to provide your questions and comments below this video. Please also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And again, my name is Tarun Gupta, and I'm from Tiny Native Gems. I hope you found this video useful, and do let me know if you need, want to ask any other questions. Thanks again and have a nice day.